Hello, welcome to another lesson, another Python lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to be building a reminder application using Python. Are you excited? Yes, I am also. And in today's lesson, we are going to learn about the time module. The time module is very, very useful uh, in Python. And today we are going to learn one of its functionalities. We are also going to learn how to use um, float the floating point numbers in python all right let's get started okay first thing you have to open a new repo select the language which is python name your repo i'm going to name my reminder application i'm going to create the repo it's creating then we are greeted with this new page that's our files i'm in the pie and then the console in here is where we're going to write our code first thing we want to do is ask the user for the impio what do you want me to remind you about so let's go on ask the user for the input what should i remind you about and the question mark space let's start this in a variable called remind remind yes then let's confirm that our code is working by just printing our remind is let's print our remind then let's run this what should i remind you about my coffee okay our code is working Python is currently reminding us about coffee, but this is not how we want it. So then, okay, let's comment out our code. As you know, it's a good practice. What is that comment to your code? What to remind about? So next, want to ask the user in how many minutes do you want me to remind you? And when we're working with um, when we're working with time module in Python, oh, let me just go ahead and import that now. Let's import the time module, which is going to be very useful for us in this course. Okay, so uh, we've imported the time module. Then we have to ask the user in how many minutes. Let's have a variable. Let's start, let's call it minute. Input in how many minutes? Okay. Then we'll ask the user in how many minutes. So let's let's give this a comment. It's always a good practice. Number of minutes. Then we have stored that in minutes. Let's confirm that our minute is working by printing out minutes. Let's confirm that we've done everything correctly. So let's print out minutes. So what do you want me to remind you? What should I remind you about? Uh, remind me to take a break. In how many minutes? In three, in 60 minutes. 60 is working. But when Python takes in an input, it takes it in form of a string. So Python accepts an input and stores it as a string. But we do not want a string. We want to work with numbers because we want to be able to calculate the number of minutes and tell Python that time. Remind me after this particular amount of time. But then we can work with it if it's in string. It has to be in a number form or a floating point number form. I prefer to work with a floating point number form right now. So let's work with a float because the um, the time module works with works best with floating point numbers. 
Okay, so now Now let's create another variable called the local time The local time is your own normal time. So the daytime module takes in time in seconds it calculates its own time in seconds. And so when we're having, when we're collecting in minutes, we have to convert to what? Seconds. So the variable that's converting is the local time. So we say minutes multiplied by 60 because 60 seconds make what? A minute. So if the user types in three in minutes, that'll be three multiplied by 60, which is what? 180 seconds. Now we can type in Okay, so remember, it's always a good practice. Comment out your code. Comment your code, sorry. Okay. Conversion to seconds. Okay. Now, here's where we use the time module to pause our application and make it wait for that exam exact number of minutes before responding back. So we say time dot sleep dot sleep. Yes, like this. And we put in the local time. Now that I think about it, I feel you might get confused by writing local time. Let me write time sec so time in seconds time sec so time in seconds so when we're using time dot sleep we don't need to put that in any variable we're just telling python when you get to that line sleep or pause the program for the number of seconds and you know of Pause the program we've converted from minutes to seconds. Sleep takes in time in seconds. So I say time, Python, sleep for this amount of seconds. Pause the program for this amount of seconds. Okay, now we want to print out exactly what the user wanted us to remind them about. So let's print out remind. So now let's go ahead and test out our application. When I run this, uh, um, Python asks me on the first line, what should I remind you about? Remind me to pick up my siblings. In how many minutes? In f okay, for testing, let us do in one minute. And so you will notice that the program will sleep for a minute. Oh, now is the time we have to uh, tell you things because we are waiting for a minute. So let's just go over our code and wait for it to run. So when it's exactly when it's exactly one minute, Python is going to print out something in the console. So let's go over our code again. In line one, we imported the time module. The time module is what helps us to make uh, Python sleep. The time module in Python helps us to work with time, specifically the seconds and the minutes of the clock. And so in the third line, we're asking the user what, we want them, what they want us to remind them about. And the fifth line, we're asking them in how many minutes they want us to remind them about that thing. And then in line seven, we converted that minute into seconds. And in line nine, we told the computer to sleep for this exact number of seconds. And in line 10, we printed out the remind. And as you can see, Python has printed out the remind what we told them to remind what we told python to remind us about which is what remind me to pick up my siblings now python is reminding me you can send you can set the minutes to whatever you want and python will remind you when it is done it's done or amazing 
And about the all for today's lesson, short but useful. I hope you've been able to learn something new from this lesson. Until next time, take care. Practice Python. Bye.